Hi everybody, my name is Spring. I'm one of the trainers here at the Austin Foundation. Thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna do just a really simple 10 minute full body stretch. So all you need is just a space. You can use your shoes or no shoes, but you're just gonna stand. We're gonna start off standing. And if you're ready to get started, come join me. So just start off with your feet just about shoulder width apart so that they're not too far, not too close, just about shoulder distance. Mindfully place your knees right over your ankles so they're not too far forward or off to the side. Just place them right over your ankles. Try to get your hips stacked right over your knees so they're not to the side. Just straight right over your knees. Get your shoulder blades stacked right over your hips so they're not forward or back. Just get them right over the top of the hips. Most important part, take a visualization from the top of the head like you have a piece of string and pull it up towards the ceiling to really lengthen the spine. So as you're standing in this nice, even, long pose, focus on your first three deep, long breaths. The first one, you're gonna breathe all the way in from the very bottom part of the body to the middle part of the body to the top of the body. Hold for four, three, two, one, and exhale. Slowly roll it out of your nose, your chest, your stomach, and the feet. Now, second breath. In your mind, breathe in from the base of your heels, through your knees, through your hips, to the shoulders, to the top of the head. Hold for three, two, one, and slowly exhale out of the nose, out of the chest, out of the stomach, and out of the base of the spine. Third breath, last one. Now breathe in from the base of the spine, through your stomach, through your heart, through your throat, to the top of the head. Hold for four, three, Two, and again, slowly let the air expel out of your nose, out of your chest, out of your stomach. Now let's get ready to move. Inhale, slide your shoulder blades up to the ears. Bring your shoulder blades back to the wall and exhale, slide it down to the floor. Let's do that again. Inhale, slide your shoulder blades up, bring them back and exhale, slide it down to the floor. Now let's open up the arms. Inhale, expand your arms. Create space around the very edges of your body with the tips of the fingertips. Keep your feet grounded, top of the head pulled up. Exhale, draw and extend the nice, clean, positive space around the very edges of your body with the tips of the fingertips. One more time, use your breath. Inhale, draw the air, bring it all the way up. Feet grounded, top of the head pulled up. Space around the edges of the body. Exhale, draw and extend that space. Last one, we're gonna go into our next pose. Inhale, draw the space, bring it all the way up. Press the palms together and exhale. Now just stretch the ribcage on one side. Really lengthening the whole side of the ribcage. Keep the feet grounded, chin up, chest out. Using your breath, inhale, bring it back up into center. And as you exhale, do the same stretch on the opposite side. Chin up, chest out, lengthening. And again, using your breath, inhale. Now we're going to go back. Take a look up to the ceiling. Shoot the hips forward. Keep the arms the ears. Look up to the ceiling all the way up. And now we're going to fold forward. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale. Let your whole upper body just hang and drop. Let your feet drop. Let your head hang heavy. Now this is a great one. Just kind of take the time to visualize creating space between each of your vertebra. Take the time to take physically all that gravity off your back. Maybe make a basket with your arms holding onto the opposite elbow with your hands and let the head hang heavy in the basket of the arms. And now from here, just release the hands, bend the knees and very slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, bring the air up out over your body. And again, exhale, draw and extend that nice, clean, positive space. Now let's go ahead and start to rotate the shoulder blades back, just getting big movements through your shoulders all the way back and rotate them forward. Let's take your hands and we're gonna bring your hands forward, get some movement through your wrists. Really important to just get some movement through your wrists. Take your hands together, try to make a sideways eight, that infinity sign in front of your body to get some movement through the forearms. Upper back stretch, take your forearms and press them straight out, bend the knees, bring the arms up by the ears, look down at your toes, maybe wiggle all of your toes. Using your breath, inhale, draw that space, bring the air up. And then again, exhale. Now, clasp your hands together to the back. Take your index fingers and put them straight down to the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Got your tongue will go, and uh, your face, your cheeks. And then again, relax. And now let's stretch out the shoulders. Just bring one arm across your chest and make your fingers go wide and close. A nice, simple shoulder stretch. And do the same thing on the opposite side. 
Bring your arm across your chest, hands lightly on the elbow, drop your shoulders down away from your ears, and you might as well just open and widen your fingers at the same time. Get some movement through your shoulder all the way and your fingers. Now lightly grab a hold of your elbows and loosen them up as you bring them up and over your head. Inhale, and then as you exhale, pull down on the top arm so you feel the stretch in the whole tricep muscles, the muscle in the back of the arm. Using your breath on your inhale, come back into center. Exhale, over to the opposite side. Again, you're feeling the stretch in the tricep muscles in the back of the arm. Using your breath, inhale, center, and exhale. Now we're going to start with the lower body. So you're going to stand and focus on just getting circulation through the hip sockets. So don't worry about balance. Just bring one knee up and touch with the knee as if there's a piece of chalk on the tip of the knee and the chalkboard is in front of your body. Now let's do that same thing going the opposite direction. Big circles all the way around. Now we're going to try, and again, don't worry about balance, but if you're able to bring your knee up and hold, try to make circles with your ankle. If you can do that, then roll your shoulder blades back so that you're standing up tall and straight. And if you're able, see if you can add a little bit of more balance and stretch out the quadricep muscles in the front of that leg. Knees are kind of kept close, a little bit closer together. If you're not able to reach it, that's okay. Just bring it back and just hold as much as you can. Now we're going to take it right hamstring. So that same leg, let's bring it forward. Front leg is straight, the back knee is bent. Deep breath in and as you exhale, bring the belly button close to the upper thigh, tailbone way back and show off the whole bottom of your foot. Hands are kept on that bent upper thigh above the knee and wave your big toe from side to side. Push and pull your big toe forward and back. Now from here, let's hold that big toe down to the floor. Take the back leg and go back just a little bit further. Now I'm going to stand my upper body tall and straight. I'm going to take that back knee and drive it down to the floor. Feel a stretch in what they call the hip flexor muscles right into the front of the leg. Inhale, bring that leg back up. Exhale, push the leg back down. One more time, inhale, bring that leg back up. Last one, exhale, push that leg back down. Inhale, bring it up. Now we're going to take that back leg and exhale, push it forward. Let's do the same sequence of stretches for the lower body on the other side. So again, don't worry about balance. Bring that knee up and just make a circle with the knee all the way around. Just getting some movement through the hip socket. And we'll go the other way, all the way around. And then again, you'll grab a hold underneath the knee. Roll your shoulder blades back against the wall and then make circles with your ankle both ways. Just getting some circulation through the ankle socket. All we're trying to do is just get movement through the body. And then you're going to try to, after you make the ankle circles, see if you can grab a hold of the shoelaces or the ankle or the big toe. Don't worry about balance. We're stretching. If you're able to hold and balance, that's great. Arms up, chin up, hold for four, three, two. Now let's take it to the hamstring stretch. Heel forward. Tailbone back, back is flat, so naturally round out. Don't do that. Open up as much as possible. Don't worry about going down too far. Hands on the upper thigh, tailbone way back, and belly button down to the upper thigh. Wave your big toe from side to side. Just get some movement. Push and pull your big toe forward and back. It's a movement to the shin. Push that big toe down. Take the back leg, go back further, and then lean your upper body tall. Now take that back knee and drive it down towards the floor. Inhale, bring it up. And again, exhale, push it down towards the floor. Inhale, bring it up. Last one. Exhale, now push that back leg forward. Now let's bring our feet nice and wide. You're going to bend the knees. Hands on the top of the knees or maybe the inside of the knees and push the knees out. Deep breath in and exhale. Bring the opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee. Big wide stretch for the upper back region. Use your breath. Inhale, center. And then again, exhale, opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee. <sighs> Inhale, come back to center. One more time. Let's do it again. Head is kept in the middle. Exhale. Bring the opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee. Inhale, come back into center. And exhale again. Opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. Now, come back into center. 
Look down towards your belly button, very slowly roll the spine up. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up and over your body. Now this time you're going to exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, lean your shoulder blades back against the wall. Inhale, stretch out the legs, stretch out the arms. One more time, exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows back against the wall. Inhale, bring it up. And last one, exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Inhale, bring it up. Now this time, exhale, fold your body forward. Both hands are kept to the floor so that you're going to bring your feet wide enough that you can reach both hands to the floor. Just gently bring the knees from side to side. Just a small, gentle side to side stretch. Now, you just stretch out both legs straight. You're going to bring your right arm all the way up. Open up the chest. Really lengthen your fingertips up. Take a look up and then bring both hands back down to the floor. Now try to bend your knees and go maybe one notch deeper. Just one notch deeper, full control. And then when you've got a few movements through, stretch out both legs straight. And now bring your left arm all the way up. Ah, using your breath, open up the chest. And again, one more time, hands back down. Let's go one notch deeper. Bring the knees all the way down if you like. And you just get a deeper stretch in the inner thighs. Full control, come back to center. Right arm all the way back up again. You can bring the arm behind your back. Play around with it, whatever feels good for your body. Release, go down one notch deeper if you like. Nice and controlled. Or both legs straight and bring the opposite arm straight up. Hands behind the back if you want to extend it. Down, back to, heel, back to shoulder width apart. Equal space between your big toes and heels. Bend the knees very slowly. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, bring the air up, out over your body. And exhale, draw and extend that nice, clean, positive space around the very edges of your body. All right, good job, you guys. You just finished doing 12 minutes of a full body stretch standing. But look out for some more videos from the Austin Foundation. We've got a lot of great programs for you. And just keep a lookout. You're, we're going to do some stretches, some conditioning workouts, some strengthening, some boot camps, and a lot of really fun things that are good for everybody. Every shape, every size, every, every endurance level. And it's just about getting started now. So get started. Invite people, have a really good time, enjoy yourself, take it easy, stay hydrated, drink lots of water, and yeah, come join us again. Bye.